Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our Legendary Nobel campaign. We pick things back up for episode 2 from turn 1 in the Harvest Season of 190. So yes, we didn't progress past turn 1 in the first episode. We just took our uh, first settlement uh, beyond our starting location. It's a tool maker here in Xiangyang. And what we're going to do at this point is disband the units. I don't think there's any more diplomacy to be had, so we don't really need the army for military strength. We got our trade route, um, and we have our eyes set on the future uh, marriage with Sun Jian, um, but maybe a war with him first, because I remember the first story mission might put us into a war with them. Uh, we're going to attack the High Empire very soon, so not going to do anything there. Not piecing out with any of the yellow turban factions, and uh, we're happy with where things stand, so let's disband everyone. And we're probably gonna recall Liu Bao and Huang Zhong as well, just to give them a quick heal, because I feel like Liu Bao is gonna need many turns. Yep, four turns. That's a little bit too many turns. Uh, we can maintain army movement by keeping Huang Zhong on the field though, because he has only one turn to heal. So let's just recall Liu Bao to heal him. In terms of buildings, we also need to, you know, change it up a little bit because the way that the AI has given us this starting location, it's consuming way too much food, even with a land development at level 3. So the easiest option is to downgrade here. We'll get 600 change back, we'll lose this building slot, but I want to start on the lodging building right away this turn. So what I'm going to do is actually just demolish this and rush it. So instead of getting paid the full 720 for the refund, I'll just be taking half of that. And then I'm going to be putting a lodging building here. And that's going to set us up nicely for when this downgrades, this disappears, this continues to be built. And when this finishes, it should trigger your economy grows, which... Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's fine. It's fine if this triggers it, then we can use the money to upgrade... This, I'm just debating because I don't plan to keep Xiangyang long term. So we might end up wasting a lot of the elements of your economy grows. Um, but that's unavoidable given how we want to play this. We did get a noble sword from the battle. That's a nice pickup. And our heir could definitely use it. So not only will we switching sword give us more authority, the sword itself gives him 5 satisfaction. Should put us to five points here as well. That's a good change. Uh, plus four is as much as we can give him. We kept this, but this is probably going to be given to a future administrator or traded away most likely. So this is where things stand. Everyone is going to be plus 10 next turn. Once the Simon comes online, I think that's everything we need to do this turn. We're going to be moving down. I want to attack Badum pretty early. There is an army there, so it's hard to actually take it down right now. We could start easy and take the Lumberyard first. Or just go for the Weapon Craftsman. That's kind of insane. Well, whatever we do, we need to wait till we hit the next tier. Because I don't want to exceed the domain limit and lose all these bonuses. So let's just continue for now. Alrighty, we're in turn two. Nothing really new has happened. We gained the title for having 3,000 more income per turn because we got rid of all the army. We have three candidates for recruitment. Um, not going to be interested in any of them. Local hero... It's okay. I mean, given that he starts out with patience, he could be a good capture general if we want to use him for rebel farming. But I have no intention of actually starting rebel farming in the beginning, so... We're going to pass on that. Um, grudge against former faction. Not interested. If any of them have items, maybe? Nope. So, not recruiting any of them. We got, yep, we got everything checked out. I think the army pulled away here. Now, it's still not going to be an easy fight because it's actually a small city. So, we either have to cheese it pretty hard with our generals, which I know many of you are not fans of. Um, so I'm going to hold off on that. Now Xu Huang is moving across and we do have the option of stopping him and trying to capture him. That would require us to preferably have someone with patience. We are not close here. Uh, it's not possible on a commander. So strategists 
if he can gain enough experience, yeah, it's gonna be a tough ask because he's not on assignment. He is on assignment. You can see he's a thousand experience already, and he's only at 300. So we're not gonna get him there fast enough. Hmm. Letting Xu Huang slip through is also fine. Because I'm comfortable. Let's see, we're gonna take this army all the way up here. Sun Jian hasn't taken it yet. Oh, he's not gonna take it. Ooh, do we want Jiangling then? I mean, whatever we do, we have to wait for the governess to tick up. We're getting 9 points a turn. This has dropped out uh, to normal. This means we're exactly at our limit, right? We had the bonuses when we had one county, now we have two. So now it's only one governess per turn. But we're getting the eight from the mission for the next two more turns. So we should be fine. Um, we're going to recruit Liu Bell back in here. No reason why he needs to be on the bench. And we're going to add a strategist. He doesn't like Huang Zhong, but too bad. They're going to have to get along. We're going to get rid of these. And I mean, he's likely going to lead this army because he's going to be the first one with reach. And the only one with reach. And he's also going to get patience along the way. So that's really good. Um, we'll give him some defensive stats. Nothing else to really give him. I'll let him lead. And we're going to chill here for a little bit. I think we'll march down and probably go with our plan, take the Lumberyard. Everyone else is busy except for Lady Tai. But Lady Tai is going to be our marriage bait in the future. So that's all we can do. Pretty quick turn two. Let's continue. Alright, Xu Huang's making his journey across. Oh. You're lucky, aren't you? Free clothing, too. And we're gonna be popping into the Yangtze River, sailing down. The Lumberyard's waiting for us. There is a general. Zheng Tai is guarding it, but this retinue is kind of pathetic. Um, I believe it's only level 1, or maybe level 2, but very simple retinue. We'll attack it next turn. Xu Huang might attack us. So we might have to time this a little bit. We might have to wait an extra turn down here just so that we don't provoke them. I don't think they're usually aggressive, but I don't want to take that chance. So let's just continue for now. All right, our economy grows triggers. We saved up plenty of money for this moment. And the sad news is I don't really want to develop Xiangyang. Uh, this will give us growing might. We'll save our first army for this trigger. And Sun Jian has died, so we can't. Oh, we can get Sun Ce because Lady Wu will take over at this point. He died early enough, I think. Well, I'm not sure how the regency work actually. Sun Ce might be heir, and she's just regent, and then Sun Ce comes of age, immediately becomes leader. We'll see what happens. We get a few experience boost. We have a few generals available. Yeah, not a bandit, so not interested. Maldi is historical. He even has a unique background here. Agricultural development is his unique passive. 25% corruption in his administer commandery. Not going to be useful for us, though. Because we're going to build tall. He's great for tall tall. 35 points. Hmm. Yeah, he's historically a tall tall strategist. Tall tall has a lot of strategists. Um, it's good. Like, the skill tree is solid. Like, I can totally justify recruiting him. Wei Huang, not so much. So, Liu Bell leveled up, which means we can get plus one rank for our starting units. I think that's the way to go. Liu Bell, unfortunately, doesn't have any unique ability. Everything's generic, just like a regular commander. He didn't move. Xu Huang is not out of range, but he would need to siege for a turn. Like, if I take this, I can use the Your Economy Grows on it. I can also take this, which is a much easier take. But then we will go over our limit for this turn. But I think we're going to hit this. Yeah, we're going to hit this this turn because of the plus one. Plus one building, plus two now. It looks like we're going to go over. It looks like 35 is the threshold, which is a strange number. I can take this real quick and give it away because 
even though we're not at um, what do you call it? We're not at second marquis yet. Because I have a small city, I can get eunuch secretaries and I can get a administrator slot. I can start creating vassals now. That's probably what we're going to do. So I can take this, give it away immediately and not worry about accumulating any issues with governance. How old is Maltia? Hmm. I can give it away to him. He doesn't get along with Liu Bell. Alright, we're doing it. Alright, this battle uh, obviously is going to require our generals. That's all we have right here. Uh, but the retinue is very easy to fight. Um, so we'll fight this. Alrighty. So, no secret to what we're going to do here. We're going to rush in and kill them. Um, it's a small town. No, it's a town. Level 2 would be a town. And um, lots of towers. Really, lots of towers. So we're going to try to reduce as many overlapping towers as possible. So I think this might be the corner we go in. We want to avoid fighting these. Yeah, that's probably the best we can do, actually. Like, running through this door might be the best. Yeah, we angle it like this, run it through like that. And we do have the block arrow, so that would help us. Um, make sure we don't walk into that, like squiggly like this, to avoid that one. We haven't got shot. We haven't got hit yet. I mean, if we keep swirling, they're not going to hit us. But we might as well use this since we have it. And the archers in the back will actually hit us. Uh, because we have no units. It's all generals, so even on harder difficulties, they will hit us. Let's run inside. Um, we don't select the charge, so they don't technically brace for us. And then we try to squeeze at the this narrow little part. So we don't lose our horses, so that we can kill, kill off the archers first. There we go. See, they shoot at us. It's okay. Uh, the strategies I'm a little worried about, but overall, shouldn't be a big issue. Uh, let's stand here. You need to do something for us. Reduce their morale. Capture this one. Fire, fire, fire. They're very annoying because they blockaded that area. Okay, their arrow is going to kill their own units if they shoot like this. We're going to ignore them. Obviously, taking the city center doesn't win us the game, considering this is a town. Uh, but it does reduce their morale by 10. And we can definitely use that. So we're going to first steal all the towers, make them follow us a little bit. They'll bounce back. We'll go inside. We'll take damage capturing towers. But how can we avoid that? Let's see, what's the morale? 30, 45. The morale's good. Alright, we caught these. Go over here. Don't want to be in that overlap. Want all three inside. The more units you have inside, the faster the capture. And once we get close, once we see those arrows flying out. There we go. Activate. Alright, we caught it. Or captured it. Caught it. Not Pokemons here. Okay. Capture this. And then that should render their morale pretty useless. And we'll be standing here using our ability on the archers. So they're 30 right now. 21 after this got captured. They're shooting at us. We shoot at him. Minus 20 and then minus 2 from the under fire. We're still going to charge them. That's the easiest way. We have to capture that tower too. Alright, 
Yeah, we got nothing except for here. Capture it. You two. Let Huang Zhong deal with the archers. There we go. They're done. We have captured it. Perfect. Their morale is at 30. They're going to try to retake that. We have to kind of stop that. Alright, they're done. Alright, pull back. I don't have to fight them there. We can get away from the tower range. Here, I'll let you fire. Fire will. Use it all up. Their morale is at 34. He's the captain. If we can route him, he auto routes. They're not going to come to us? That's interesting. Because the damage amount, 1.5k, we're actually killing multiple units per arrow, even though the arrow like animation can only hit one thing. Alright, now they have 19 morale, so we can route them. This does 22. There we go. This is 20 for the morale hit, 2 for the under missile fire. Right. We just need to rinse and repeat. He'll bounce back twice, and then we'll do it again, and then it's over. Can we reach him? Oh yeah, look at that range. Ooh! Gonna land? Wow. Wow. Oh, somehow he has 9 morale. Huh. That's a bummer. We have to charge them, it seems like. They have 30 again. It really stabilized. Alright, we have this up. We can do a nice charge here. Obviously, we don't want to select charge, or else they get ready for us. And we just, you know, loop around them. If we can capture it in the 30 seconds, that would be the best case scenario. Because they're not actually stepping on it. Maybe a few units are. Ah, Wondrons off on his horse. No problem. We caught it. We captured it. Keep saying caught. Alright, can we fire your arrow off? Be a good time. You can't die. You're gonna be the new administrator here. Dumb. They only have eight. There we go. Uh, let's bounce back. Here, you chased him. Go, go, go. Keep chasing. Shoot him. He won't die. No worries. Alright, we did it. It's messy. It's a garrison wipe. All the experience will be shared evenly along the three. It's all good. Alright. So Dong Zhuo obviously declare war, protecting his vassal. Um, we're now over the limit. We don't see the punishment until next turn. Uh, we're not going to let the punishment happen. We are going to make administrator here and liberate him. Um, we can obviously trade the land to Tai Mao if we want, um, but I'm not a fan of that strategy. I'd rather create another one. I like a bunch of small, weak vassals rather than a few big, strong ones. 
because um, I don't mind them getting wiped. They're not giving us any points. I have to come here and swap him manually. Now I have to get rid of his items. You're not taking these with you. And this is all because we want Maozie. So, all right, he's in the position. I'm gonna put him in none, and I'm gonna grant him independence. And we'll check his um, personality real quick. Defiant. That's not good. Um, so yeah, it's hard to know before you assign them. It's almost impossible. Um, but I don't expect to keep him for long. He's not going to give us any points, I believe. Uh, we'll check that. And we don't have extra trade route, so it's not like we're making him for the trade. I could, however, give him something like this, because I'll never annex him and take his extra stone pig, because they always get a new one. And take some money. Hmm. I doubt we can get more than 650 here. Oh, we can. The lump sum is better. Okay. Alright. And our armies will continue to go south. Uh, we're going to move over there next. We still have our bonus. But since I am determined to give this away, the only thing I could see upgrading is this. Because then we can get two governess points per turn. Hmm. Not worth it. We're going to save money, not going to build anything. We are going to recruit Maozie, that is a key part of our plan. I have no idea if they get along with our generals or not, and we can't recruit because even though we're in our vassal territory, it doesn't count. Um, so we either have to go back to add him in, or just go take this with these two generals and then add him in later. Although he does give us night battle. Uh, I think we have to go back then. Your brother's gone, but you're still with us. Um, I'm perfectly happy having you do assignments. You can probably end up being administrator too. The 10% commerce is not bad. But in case we ever need a patience officer, we're going to start working you that way. You can take all of these next turn. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to save up the money. We can assign a new tutor if we have someone suitable age. We don't. We need an old person. Uh, someone older than 35, but younger than 55, I believe. And this needs a second Marquis position. We don't have anyone for tutor. He will be old enough soon, so he can switch. All right. Let's continue. You know, if... Dong Zhuo comes and takes Xiangyang from us. Yeah, she's a regent. Yeah, that's not good. That means Sun Ce is going to come of age and become leader. Um, so we can't marry him. We can't try to annex him. Uh, but if he can take Xiangyang from us, that will save us the money of moving capitals. So that would be a good thing. Alright, we're going to backtrack one turn just to set up our army. Get an extra assignment. So Lady Tai can join in the assignment fun. Oh, she just has the repeating one. No. Alright, she can't join the fun. Mm, it's fine. At least he gets along with Liu Bell. It's something. Uh, seems like we picked up a random fan. 
and we'll sell down again next turn. Not using your economy girls at all. Kind of hurts, but that's what we got. Um, no one is old enough, right? He's still 34. Yeah, unfortunately, no one's old enough. So we're just going to continue. Taima wants independence. I am actually okay with giving this to him. Like I said, I know we lose income, right? Per turn income. But let's say he can pay us per turn income. Oh, he only makes one. Wow. You're very poor. Hmm. Uh. I can't get anything from him. Maybe flat payment. He only has a thousand saved up. That's that's even worse, honestly. Um We're just gonna say no. He can't do much about it. All right, let's see. Ooh, refund. We definitely want him too. Um, he's great for spice income later on. Actualized satisfaction. If he's a prime minister, for example, which he will be. Yeah, he has fondness for Yuan Shu and Lady Wu, and somehow came to us. That's extremely strange, but we're not complaining. Um, his skill tree is not as good, so I'm happy with just grabbing him. Oh, is he a spy? No, he's a new spawn. No pass loyalties. And then use him as a Simon character. Because we're missing one. Now, we do have a, a source of commerce income, so this will give us something. And I think he's old enough for a tutor. Oh, is he not? He's that young? 23. Huh, so he will switch up and then, yeah. Uh, we do have this empty administrator slot that I'm not using. Which is a mistake. Even though we're not building anything, he can give us more income. Okay. And we're going to go Lumberyard first. I might march onto land. They might attack us, and that would be an easier fight than taking them on and the garrison on. So hopefully they get enticed into doing that. Looks like we're in for a rebellion soon because of this. That's also fine, I don't mind losing into the old turbans. Anything to get rid of the capital for free. Are we finally over? No we're not, we're still in this. Two points a turn, so it's not 35, is it? F it's gotta be 50 then I'm guessing. Ah, uh, it's a long wait. Let's continue. Alright, we did draw them out, which is exactly our plan. Uh, so we can wipe this out very easily. So let's get in here. Alrighty, we got a giant shadow casting over here. That looks really weird. I think it's just a shadow. That's like where the light ends, apparently. They're in darkness, we're in the light. Wonder who will win. Like, why is the light filter this way? Oh, it's this mountain. Wow. Oh, that's cool. That's actually really cool. Yeah, the south is beautiful. The south maps and the northwest map are super unique. Alright. We're gonna go into the bamboo here. 31 morale. Well, we're gonna kill their general. That's gonna be our play. Yeah, come out of the darkness. Come into the light. Long drone will snipe the enemy general. He doesn't have much health. Trying to dodge. Yeah, he dodged a lot of it, but we're cavalry. 
做得还不够好。你命该掩埋于此。Yeah, it just can't touch us. We'll do a Wisdom the River debuff. Whack, whack, whack. How much morale does he have? Nine. All right, we're gonna make him route away from his units. Uh, we need some distance first. This pesky infantry. Oh, he's splitting away. Come on, fire it. There we go. Route away. Alright, after him. He's gonna bounce back and be like, wait, I'm so far away from my troops. Chase, chase, chase. Slaughter him. He's fast. And now he's routing for real. Get out, get out, get out, guys. Don't let him route. We gotta kill him. Oh my god, he's he's so fast. 97 speed. We're 97 speed too, and we have the chase on him. Oh, we're tired because we're yeah right. We marched. That that makes sense. All right, then we gotta work on them slowly. Not that hard. We just do multiple directions. He's at nine. Right, one at a time. This we can chase, I'm pretty sure. Right, let's back off a little. You, get some experience. Hong Zhong, you can feast on these yourself. Waiting for army loss to hit them. Come on, get him. He's back too. Maybe we can capture the general. Oh, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Alright, hit him. Don't kill him. We got hit with a Wisdom of River. We can't catch him. I'm out. We will kill them all, because, or else they retreat back to the lumberyard and we have to fight them inside, which would be a pain. There we go. Oh, blocked by that same mountain. All right, he ran back by himself. Ooh, Chen Gong's also joining us. Lots of strategists, which is great because um, we're gonna have a lot of commerce, so we're gonna need a lot of strategists for boosts. So Chen Gong's obviously joining us. Uh, dissatisfied from Cao Cao's court, Master Magistrate. No past loyalties. Also, pretty decent skill tree. He's definitely more army focused, especially with his unique ability. Okay, he's the perfect age for tutor. What item did we get? Another foreman. Okay, or our second administrator when we rank up. I can't tell. It's still two. Okay, so it's 50. Ugh, five more turns. It's quite painful. Alright, let's attack them. 
Alright, so Night Battle will give us 15 points of morale, and then Huang Zhong's ability, obviously, killing the general would also help a little bit here. And the units are not too hard, so let's jump to it. Alright, so it's not hard. It's better if we hide in a forest, in a sense, um, and then sneak in. Although there's usually one gate, yeah, this one's usually easier to approach. Um, so we can start out here, that way they're not guarding the front door when we get there. Let's go. This time we're not fatigued. Oh, they're on the wrong side. Oh, they're still guarding it. Ah, cheating AIs. They knew we were there. Okay, we can slip past. Just don't charge them. Um, find a corner if you can. You can like route them like this. Yep. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, just visiting. Actually, I don't want to fight them here. I want to bypass all of them and go charge the archer. Bye. Ouch, 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 ouch. Uh, they're leading us right past the spear units, which we will gladly bypass as well. Charge like this, maybe. Alright, I'm worried about him. So you can go. And everyone's morale is really low. Night battle is a big difference. Alright, they're done too. I'm pretty sure if we can get this capture, like right here. Hong Zhong, we're gonna let him shoot him. We'll take this opportunity to get them working. He's moving. Oh, stop, stop moving. One more shot, he dies if we hit him. There we go. And then we just, you know, pepper them with a little bit of... Morale debuffs. Goodbye. Oh, he's still at 13. He's guarding a point. It's our point, right? Yeah. Back to melee. They're only at 14. Okay, we'll just have them wipe him. Have them wipe this. And then he's almost done. He didn't capture it back. He basically stepped onto a capture point, which gave him some morale back. Aside from that, they're all goners. Go back here. Ah, we missed. They moved away. We still have this. 12 seconds. Okay. Right away from this, because they actually get morale when they step on it. It doesn't matter who. Oh no! Friendly fire! Friendly fire! Alright, let's wipe him out. Doesn't matter if we lose our horse. Ah, uh, they didn't, weren't even braced. Oh, <laughs> Bell's really good at getting hit for the enemy. Alright, let's go. Alright, we win. It's a garrison wipe, no need to clean this up. Good thing the arrow doesn't do any damage, it's just the morale hit. Alrighty. Captured a third settlement, which could create problems, right? 
So we're going to ignore the vice. Um, we're not going to do any migration stuff. I might trade away a territory just to maintain this because we're not there yet. But we can trade this away to our new vassal, make them like us a bit more. Eight point eight. Did you get any new items that you can't use? Nope. You must be richer now. Nope. Made any savings? Nope. Um. We're not going to take his per turn because per turn comes to us. Part of his per turn goes to us anyways. Alright, so now we just have to let someone else take our capital. We landed here. Let's see. What's the damage? They have the armor, but they don't have the T. Hmm. I don't want to go to war with them just yet. So they can keep the T for now. I think we turn around and go for this, and we actually build our army. And we will get our deployment benefit once we get two more units onto the field. I believe that's the mission, right? Growing might, just two extra units. So what we're going to do with those two unit is we're going to just raise an army of Lady Tsai and Chen Gong. And I'm going to get rid of their retinue. Both the generals are two units. So that's going to boost us over and then we have these two generals ready on our bench with no retinues for future recruitment. And that's what we're going to do here. Once again, uh, no, we'll build this up. This we're keeping long term. Too bad we didn't get it before the Yurikami growth ends. Uh, but this is all good. Oh, it has us below governance. Focused. Why? We're not... Are we, are we officially here? No, we're not there yet. Unless 40 is the threshold. It's not showing us the change. Uh, but anyways, um, I'll take two points, you know, more better than one. Yeah, we can end turn here. Oh, so now I guess we get to have the armor and the tea and Changsha. Yes, we'll help you with the yellow turbans. Or well, actually, I realized they're actually helping us with the yellow turbans. Yeah, they're joining our war. All right, we got growing might. Want us to hold three. That's not happening for a while. Not gonna get her. Alright, so their jobs are done. Now, technically, Cheng Gong's probably better than the one we have. Uh, Mao Jie. We get a little bit extra morale when defending. Chance to evade capture, chance to avoid ambushes. But we don't get Wisdom River, we get this continuous effect. We don't have many duelists in the army, so I guess it's fine. We'll wait till he has a another partner in crime. Meanwhile... Yeah, meanwhile, we'll have him lead. He's probably going to pick up these later. And we can actually fight them off. So I don't know where their army are on the map. This is Shamo Kuk. We can trespass. Like, I'm more interested in getting this first. Because if I capture this now, that would be our capital. Oh, they have T as well. They just captured it. It wasn't theirs the turn before. Hmm. Yeah, see, it's supposed to be plus one. I don't know why it was showing plus two. There was no way we were supposed to get plus two. But somehow after we traded this way, we got plus two. All right, we'll build our first full army. We might go very aggressive and build out here. Ooh, choices here. So Liu Bao is going to get, well, let's say, we must get tribuches. But no need to be shy here. We'll get two, we can afford it. And then archers, because we do have access to archers and fire arrows. 
We don't have Flaming Shot on the Tribuchets just yet. Obviously, eventually it will be a really good range army, but that's eventually. Frontline help is going to come from Liu Biao, most likely. i got to redo this. Okay. We're going to get infantry of Jin. We're going to get four of them. And then two mounted saber militia to absorb enemy arrow. Over here, the question is, do we just want to get some archers as well? It'd be cheaper. Yeah. We'll go with the range build. We'll rely on these four. Might be a little thin, but we have generals too, so it should be okay. And that's going to be our first full army. And we're recruiting this with Growing Might active, which will give us the extra replenishment, uh, which will help us out having this army ready quickly. We definitely could have done something with the titles to save us 5%. Uh, that's an oversight. We should have done that. You should always do the general of the right and general of the left switch um, before you do it. We can still do this. Just who needs 10 authority? That's the thing. Like right now we are at 1085. If we give it to him, we are at 1145. So we saved about... 60 ish 62 but this costs us 10 100 per turn we're actually for us would be 80. So we're actually losing money on this so maybe not maybe not we won't start this no need to give him a title everyone's decently happy all right so they're good they're gonna recruit the full army here wait for replenishment it should be about three turns my guess is okay that is accurate Anyone coming for our capital? Zhu Huan's still on the map. No one's coming down? Uh, bummer. Maybe the rebels will take- Ah, uh, even the rebels not interested. Oh well. Let's just continue. We will pay them so that they can have military access. I, I think you're a little crazy. Hey, how about you become our vassal? Um, I don't think there's a need to do anything with him. We just ignore him. If he wants to attack us, be my guest. Reject. Alrighty. Friend in need. Bonding. Good. We became a minor strategic threat with that first army built up. <laughs> uh, no worries. I'm sure Lady Wu was regretting it. So Kuai Yue is on our bench, but we're happy to give him these. He's 35 now. He can't be a student anymore, can he? I guess you have to be older than 35. He can still be a student this turn. Okay, that's fine. Continue to be a student then. We're waiting for army replenishment. We're going to grab ourselves reform. We can get an extra trade route. I don't know if our partners, um, our vassals have traded or not. Most likely, yes. We can also speed up tax collection, but in the long run, that doesn't really help us. So I think this is where we'll go. And hopefully, because we're a minor threat, ah, oh, everyone has traded. They move so fast. Meow. Trading with Yuan Shu instead of us? Ungrateful. Okay, that's a bummer, but that was probably expected. We need two more turns. We can't do anything. Right, so we're just going to continue here. The Great Divide. Uh, rich and poor. It's the tax collection assignment and the tax collection building that's causing this. Um, we don't have to worry about it. Ji Ling's available. You left Yuan Shu. You never joined Yuan Shu. I mean, we could use a unique model vanguard. We traded away our son. He's willing to spy, so he's not a spy. Alright, snatch him up. Have a level up here. 
we have increased capture rate. That would be very helpful. Gained a trader that can go on you for some extra trade influence. A couple more level up. As I said, character experience is really plentiful for the little belt. So expect a lot of level ups. Uh, we don't need this anymore because we're not going to recruit an army very soon. So we might as well try to get flexibility quicker. He is very unhappy because he's rank four. So he needs a position basically. And we can give him a title this way, or in my opinion, it's better if we just make him our chancellor. Because in that case, he would just uh, simply absorb um, 160. It's a little bit more expensive than title. 60 more. Uh, 80 more. But we get 15% peasantry back. And we get missions once we get him. Move any character into Xiangyang for extra replenishment. Wonderful. So we have those characters which we got rid of the retinue for, and they're perfect for this job. Wonderful. We can continue to upgrade the lumber yard, because that's the only piece we have. Army just needs one more turn, and we can unleash onto uh, Lady Wu, who foolishly declared war on us, and get ourselves a armor craftsman. Um, we are two turns away from extending our domain by two. We will skip this. We will probably sack it and then take this and take this to hit four. And then we're going to have to wait to move up again. Um, I'm really hoping they can just take this away from us, someone, or we have to pay for the move uh, in Badong. We can make Changsha our capital too. Just It's kind of landlocked. I mean, we will need this piece. A lot more work, basically. Um, but... Let's continue. Liu Chong wants our foreman. Nope. Alrighty. The Alliance of Hansui declares Wang Dongzhuo. Ah, keeping him busy in the northwest. Got ourselves a military axe, which I think we can give to Huang Zhong for more damage. Grand officer, willing to spy. That's a recruit. Okay, we snatch ourselves another recruit here. Where did you come from, by the way? To Pan Jiuzhen? Oh, way down south. Okay. Now, let's see where Lady Wu's armies are. Ooh, they're going for the lumber yard. Go for it, go for it. Don't just, just ignore us. Uh, we'll ambush. Yeah, take that. So I don't have to fight the Han for much longer. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's continue. All right, Han Fu invites Wang Kuan to their coalition. Okay, relationship increase. Okay, we're over 50. So the first limit is 50. So I can technically take Changsha. It wouldn't be in my capital, right? Right now, because I still have a capital over there. And then when I lose that, it will become my capital. Unless I have Badung as well at the same time. They might shift automatically Badung because Badung is higher level. So we can just gamble when we lose that. Because it's not bad that we get Changsha in the future. Alright, so we wake up. Oh, Lu Zhi. His unique units always come with him. Alright, nice of you to join us, pal. This will be a clean fight. We'll fight it, because I don't want to take any casualties. Night battle. Um, it'll be quick. Alrighty, there is no, you know, strategy here. We'll pick one door. Maybe this one. And uh, we'll lay out our siege weapons. They will charge out because they are vastly outnumbered here. And we'll just pound them. We'll manual fire. We have so much range. 
fire arrows. Um, typically, I don't like to have everyone using fire arrows, but then we have like so many more, so it's technically not everyone using fire arrows. And then we have these boys tanking any possible arrows coming back. Actually, no, they're not the best tank. We have better tanks for that. They will be here tanking. And we'll just look pretty. Start. That first shot might take a little while. Yeah, 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 that's a bad move. We should hit here. Come on, don't disappoint me. Fire, fire, fire. Level 2 trebuchets. Very slow. Alright, second shot here. Got a few of them. Five. Oh, by the way. Gonna demoralize him. He's the only unit that can actually injure us. So that's the only unit we really need to focus. By the way, don't walk up. That's the win. Lots of arrows. Not even the double uh, attack speed boost yet. Okay, because this will not displace our capital, I'm gonna keep it. And if it does end up becoming capital, it's it's fine. Alright, we gained some momentum, picked up three territory, get some extra experience for our units every turn. We do have a character on assignment. We will get some more experience for three more turns. And that will be done. More experience once we get second marquee. So his early mission is kind of weird. You just get a bunch of experience. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon our burned officer so he can do his thing. Yeah, we've already done this. Don't need to do this. He'll just stand here, you know, apply his debuff to everyone in the county if they want to come back and fight us. They will do so with less ammo. We're going to be converting this to our version. We're probably going to keep as many land development as possible. It's going to be a different build than the optimal builds we've shown in the past because we can't have a lot of land. So we can't have a lot of utility commanderies that's just supplying us food. So all our tall commanderies have to kind of supply their own food in a sense. And that's what we have to do here. All right. So our goal is going to be... I might even ignore this. They can take it back for all I care. We're going to continue to push down, get the armor smith, get the T. That's our ideal command reholdings, right? These two, this one, and then Batum, and then we lose this. I don't know how we will lose this. Maybe we just save up enough to move the capital. It's very cheap right now before we, we hit second marquees. It probably just cost 10k. Uh, we can't afford that. So that's going to be our goal. Uh, we already moved on south. If we can kind of beat them back and um, get a few releases, some fondness, maybe peace out, maybe vassalize in the future. You know, a bunch of maybes. But we're picking up quite a nice roster of generals too. Uh, Chen Gong, Lu Zhi, Ji Ling, three unique models, and Lu Fan, as well as Mao Jie, who are both semi-unique, plus a brilliant officer. So pretty happy with where things are going, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!